Hello and welcome everyone, Lala here with part 8 of the Danes Let's Play for Total War Attila. We continue where we left things off last time. And I left you guys with the question of Britain or Rome, because that seemed to be the prevailing thought between uh, a fair few of you in the comments. Should I go and strike Rome and take some of its territories down here, uh, along the coast, or should I raid Britain? Now I know I'm kind of doing the similar sort of thing in my Saxon Let's Play, but pretty much uh, the, the majority of you said go for Britain. And then once you've built it up as a base of power, then see what of the what remains of the Western Roman Empire you can go in and plunder. So I'm up for that. I'm up for taking these guys out and then sailing around, see if there's anything left in Iberia to take on. If we get the opportunity to sail down a little bit and hit um, Alispo, then we may well go and do that. Now, a fair few of you have said just raise Britain and loot it. Um, but I'm actually going to look to settle here, mainly just to build up my, my, my power base. Because I need a strong economy before I can really throw my weight around here uh, a fair bit. I do want to hit northern. Uh, I do want to hit Gaul as well. But again, hitting Britain means I can take these settlements here, and I can hit Gaul um, because they've got this northern province or region here. We may end up going against. Uh, we've got also got this. Uh, ter they've also got this territory down here. I'm trying to say that, and I could also go up against Gaul if I want to and take that. I've got the Jutes acting as a bit of a buffer here. Um, Obviously, still got to be wary of the Angles and the Saxons. A few of you said, you know, take them out as well with these armies here, which I may well look to do as well. Um, so all these guys here are kind of... It looks like they're kind of just waiting to kick things off. So if that's the case, uh, then I will just kind of raid uh, and loot Britain. But for now, I do want to strike, so I'm going to go for it. They're going to bring the Caledonians in. I'm going to go for it. And I'm actually surprised to see them it's apparently going to be doing so well. It's because they've got these Legio troops. But we'll fight this one. Um, I think we should be able to. We should be able to take them down. So let's let's go for it here. The Danish navy away. Um, I should say, well, one. This is probably going up quite late again. Uh, if you haven't been following me on Facebook or Twitter the last couple of days, my internet pretty much died, and I had to get a new internet hub to connect it all up again. It's only just started going up. Um, but because of that, the upload speeds haven't been where they should be, and it's taken a long time. Plus, I've had some rather exciting news, which I will be announcing, and you'll be seeing all about that on my channel soon. Uh, loads of other things, so it's kind of just been one of those weeks where nothing has gone right, and I'm playing catch-up. So, uh, And I haven't had time today to get the Huns Let's Play our special ready yet. So, what most likely is going to happen is that the Huns will be out... Um, uh, tomorrow, this part itself is probably not going to be out until, I say tomorrow, this part itself is probably not going to be out until very late on uh, Thursday evening. So, whenever you're watching this, I <laughs> I hope you're enjoying it. And, um, yeah, basically. Um, apologies for the delay in the schedule this week. It's all over the place. Ugh, I need, like, another me. Can we try and catch up to those ships if we can? We're going to artillery bombard the crap out of them and I'm going to land with my infantry ships over here I will land closer and bring my general there thankfully these artillery ships because they're super accurate we should be able to take down their towers they shouldn't be much threat to us this is obviously running on the uh, the first patch or first update that's been released for Attila quite a lot of changes there's no more burning of torches at the gates and things like that That's good. Um, and also, I was, I've was i been asking the last couple of parts of the Huns, Saxons, and Danes, how does attrition work? You actually have... Um, attrition takes a couple of turns to kick in. Like they have stores. Uh, and CA have actually added a... Um, little infographic to let you know how many... How long that will be until that kicks in. So that's useful now with the new update as well. So I bring these guys in. Flaming shot with everyone. I want to take out these spearmen on the beach. They've <laughs> the combat attentive spears have already formed up. Lol. Um, they've got them over here as well. I've got their their legio swords. I'm putting these guys in. That's cool. Just gonna pop them forward a little bit. See if they can start shooting on the enemy. If not, we'll have to land them, but we'll see if we can draw some out. 
Leaving them on flaming shot to cause some havoc. If we can set any bits on fire, that'd be great too. There we go. Weaken their morale. Yeah, taking the Bowman Marines down a little bit. It's actually shifting those guys over as well. Um, these guys slowly getting into position. That's all cool. We're actually going to get them all to target this um, watch out. And if actually if a couple of them miss, it's not going to be too bad because it may well hit their, their cavalry. Which would be a nice. Um, my swords have just finished landing, so hopefully that might draw some of the enemy out. But we'll see. Here we go. A couple of them firing. Hopefully we can take this watchtower down quickly so we can storm into the city from this side. Both those shots missing. Looks like this one might be a good one. No, it's just missed, but we've set things on fire. Oh, and that's, as I predicted, getting the cavalry. In fact, actually, we have clipped that tower a little bit. Oh, it's the fire nearby that's actually doing damage to it. Yep, it is. The fire nearby has hit the tower. So I need to worry about that now. It's been set on fire. We're going to actually aim all these Onager ships onto the cab if we can. Form these guys up like so. So they'll be ready to do their fire at will shots in a moment because otherwise we're going to get charged by that cavalry very, very quickly. And we don't want these guys firing on me now, so we're going to hit the swords down here. Try and take out their general as well. Yeah, their cavalry's going down. I've done too much damage to my marines just yet. You guys over here all form up. Take out the, the legia over here. Set them fire. Ah, these guys are out of ammo. Whoops. Reload, please. Artillery ships start fight, uh, firing on their general. If we can kill their general, then we get a huge bonus. Well, we get a huge bonus. We get a really good chance at killing the enemy. Oh, ow. These are archers. Okay, we're going to push on them then. We're going to push up here. More ammunition. This ship will continue firing. See the flames! Their city is ablaze! Word. Keep firing on their on their general and their marines. Those guys have got a little uh, got hit pretty hard. There we go, push back that legio, fire your darts, men. You guys flank on round. You guys go in here. Get a charge on these guys. Oh, that's a good shot right on their general. Get okay, these guys around. So flank on around here. We're going to pull this unit around to attack as well. Okay, and on go ships. You start firing right now on those guys. Thank you. So we're going to have lots of trouble because they're all going to be on fire and burning and dead. Broken these guys here. All of you on these guys now. Everyone to replenish the ammo and then. Uh, are rallying. They're not done yet. Exactly, right. Kill their general. Turn around and kill these guys. Nice. Uh, artillery ships keep firing over here. Break their general and then we get a win. Win, please. Would be lovely. Don't die, General, because you're my faction air. Thank you. These guys, he's still all reloading. Please say you've reloaded. Please say you've reloaded. Now, cool. Right, attack those guys. You, you lot, land and help out my, my forces. Everyone but my general going in here, please. Well, I do want my general in here, just not on the front front rank. These guys are getting... Let's use that, use the whip, increase our defense. <laughs> no ships, bad ships. Hit the archers, please. I wouldn't mind you hitting these guys, but we're going to get all my archers that are landing. No, 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 no. Oh, dear, it's going to end badly. 
Take off your fire at will. Here, please. <laughs> we did get a fair few of these guys set on fire, which is nice. All of you up here, please. It's where the battle camera's been made higher. I can't get as low. I mean, it's because I'm on high terrain. No, it seems like the battle camera's been moved up a bit. There we go. Charge on these guys. Archers over here. How are we doing on oh, losses? Ah, not too bad. There we go. They've all broken. In battle, that's a win. That will do. 257 lost. Not too bad. Mainly the swords that got caught out there and I probably did set them on fire at some point. But that was a little bit of friendly fire. Especially between friends. Uh, good start. The war with Britain. Jolly good, and we will definitely be looting and occupying. Ready for orders. And Germanic paganism is not strong, which is a shame, because that's our religion. Military jetties, yeah, do sheep flock. Uh, Food-wise, we're actually okay, so I'm going to dismantle that. Uh, Colonia, um, converting. Ha ha ha! It's going to cost a crap load. Mm. Yeah. I think we're going to get. No, I kind of got. Should I got to keep the military jetties? No, we're dem uh, demolishing that. Um. Yeah, we'll repair that. Um. Yeah, we're demolishing that so we can build a shrine. Yes. These guys are gonna have to just hold up. Oh, I wish I could go strike Londonium. I need to get an army over here. I've got this one up here that I'm building up, and this one will just have to hold the regions while I'm away raiding. Um, we're going to go for the Nordic Levy for now. Lots of them are in the same province, so... Dang it. Unless we're over here. That should still have... Let's let me get bows. It doesn't get me, let me get the... Oh. We're trying to get Norse Berserkers as well, aren't we? We're upgrading all that, we're repairing all this. I've got two Chieftain's Halls, which will both do exactly the same thing. So one needs to not be a Chieftain's Hall. Uh, Germanic Paganism is fine, so we can convert something else to a little bit. Um, we'll get rid of that one there, because it can only be made to a Chieftain's Hold. Yeah. So, and we need the technology for that anyway, which is Sacred King, but we're currently trying to upgrade our warriors. Now, I know a lot of you have said, be careful when I upgrade all my brigands. Or is it brigades? I can't remember. Uh, brigades, rather. Two warriors, because they're upkeep will increase dramatically. So again, that's why I'm trying to make uh, my, my nest egg. My economic layer. I've uh, got the scans there. We're going for conversion. Uh, yeah, to make all this cheaper. Um, conversion construction, rather. That's fine. We've got over here. I can go and raid them over here as well if I want to. The drowned fleet. Proto Magnus. So we'll let these guys replenish up. We may well build one or two more ships. And then uh, probably need uh, a few more marauders, actually. There we go. And then we'll end turn. Sign a provincial governor. Awesome. Yes, please. There you go. Uh, an edict. Yeah, we'll go for construction just to make things cheaper for next turn. Then we'll convert it over to Germanic Paganism after that. <sighs> At least with those two abandoned settlements, well, not the not the, uh, not the one in the west, uh, west of Londinium, but certainly uh, what was uh, Lindum, that will act as a little bit of a buffer. They won't be under instant attack. I could just raid these settlements, but I, I want to improve my long-term economy, and I want to take that settlement in northern Gaul as well. Turning into my Saxons campaign, just a little bit <laughs> further along in the east, but uh, I will look to move down to Iberia and into the Mediterranean to go into the Western Roman Empire as soon as I can. And Great Britain's pulled out with that fleet, which means I can go hit Rota Magnus straight away. Withholding taxes. Oh, no, you douche, you. My lord, one of your tax collectors, I must report that some citizens have been withholding payment of your taxes. Send in the troops, talk them down. Yes, let's talk them down. Come on, let's, let's be nice here. 
Um, yeah, I think if I leave Londinium, I'm going to have a rebellion on my hands anyway. That's fields, so well, let's get rid of the fields. I can't convert that to anything. Um, I could raise a new. Well, yeah, probably at this point I'm kind of. Like, I probably should raise an army and just get loads of uh, loads of infantry. I do have a lot of money. A fighter. Yeah, let's bring you in. Can we reinstate the legacy? No, that's another fleet. Raise an army. Just Nordic levy it, mate. These guys still need to replenish anyway, but we could. Hmm. I'll put away. Oh, it's so unhappy. I think I could untax them as well. No, it's not really taking much off. Um, once you get some new troops in, I could probably go take them out. I mean, it's just an opportunity to keep on weakening them. But now I've got to try and hold on to Rota Magnus. No, we'll leave the fleet there for another turn. And hopefully we can pull these guys along. Ah, seriously, they need one more man, is that it? Then they're ready to go. Damn. Um, well, we can get archers from over here instead of slingers, but mm, no, we should keep them as they are. Right, in that case, these guys can get... Okay, I'll give you two more brigands. Uh, and you need cav. So three units of cav. So we'll leave that. That's all that can be done. I've got quite a lot of money, actually, this done. Uh, no, I've got to destroy that completely. Large salt works. No, we need something for sanitation. We we'll have to wait till the next level of public order. That's why we've got all this. And also, thanks again for guy for you guys telling me that the just because the province has plague doesn't mean the army does either, which is good. Um, we don't have to worry about that squalor. Public order. No, we don't want to increase all that. Same for that. Um, trade jetties, fishing jetties. Gonna need to get something for sanitation in here. For now, um, really don't want to build anything at all. Uh, I could upgrade my village though. Let's do that. Set my village to upgrade. Um. We will go your governor, we'll go for more We could go for more food, we're fine for that. We'll go for that and then we'll go for integrity and start reducing corruption and things like that. Dude, you can become an elder. You're already up there. You're not on the board because you don't have Ah, uh, Lothar doesn't have enough. Uh, also some of you were saying can I marry not arrange like a marriage for him? Do not attempt to sweeten truth. I oh, don't think so. Plainly, and I... uh, not unless I made him my, like my factionaire. Greetings to you. Which sucks. Um, uh, if I did make him my factionaire, this guy would be pissed. Which is a shame. So. When I take you to war though, hopefully you'll gain many, many victories and the women will love you. So that's all good. Um, Alright, that's all I was going to do this turn. I can't convert you, so I'm just going to wait until we can get the public order up. Not public order. Germanic paganism. That'll do. That's the one. That's the Sheila. Where you going? Vandals destroyed? Oh no. Illegitimate birth. Lothar again. Influence of Ragnar. Oh cool. For withholding taxes. Oh, you're low on 
Oh no. Oh, and he's lost uh, another bit of influence, I assume, because he keeps having bloody bastards. Influence per turn. Out of favour, yes. How long can you be out of favour, though? Seriously. He's humble. He surely should be fine. Ugh. Ugh. Um, where's Ragnar? I swear that said, um, plus five influence for Ragnar. Ah, oh, here he is. Oh, here. Ah, uh, cool. So it's obviously in his province or something like that. Um, you're pretty low on, I gotta watch the, hmm. Okay, we need to secure, oh, here he is, Ragnar. We need to secure some loyalty, mate. Uh, your wife. Um, secure loyalty of Ragnar to start with. Um, my wife secure. You're happy-ish. Lothar, you secure this guy. And you secure this guy. Your orders? Ready for battle! Get you some Fight more of these. It's a good life. Fleet ready. No, we're gonna have to hold up for a couple of turns. For for these guys are ready to go, so I'm gonna force march you on the seas. I can't go through their territory because they'll kill me. Or they'll get pissed. So it's gonna take you uh, three more turns to get over here. Yeah, I know you're slightly upset now that you've lost your friends. Uh, instability still going on. Um, that's going up, so that will increase public order, though. I think. Hoping. Oh, no, it won't. Public order's already at seven. Dang it. Um, ah, uh, construction site here. You know what? We'll do sanitation here instead. Uh, a well. Yes, please. Give me that well. And it increases growth for just, well, I assume all. All regions. Good. Good. Um, as much as I want to go for that, to increase salt production, public order, and squalor, new. No. They still got the pestilence. Uh, and I'm actually. Oh, and no, I'm mustering, you know, I'm going to move these guys just because I feel it's kind of a better position to be in. I know that would be actually a better one to defend, but it's got uh, the plague at the moment or whatever. So we're going to build these guys up here. And uh, then we'll potentially check out who our next likely enemy is going to be. Uh, Saxons there. Well, who's got the weakest strength ranking? These guys. Or this lot. We'll have to see. We will have to see. Um, right, I think that's all we can do there. We're just saving up our... Ah, here we go. Uh, we want sacred ground. Straight off the bat. We may well just have enough to convert this anyway. We seem to have a lot of money at the moment. Um... Do you want paganism? No, it really needs to be on the rise, so we'll leave that for now. End turn again. Ba 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 ba. Caledonians, yeah, they're going to... Oh, no, it's like the Abdalians. I always get those two mixed up. But Caledonians are at war with me. So I need to keep... No, those are pigs, I think, with the pig. Pig. Pigs. A noble birth. Uh, large bribe. <laughs> uh, yes, large bribe and a large bribe for both of you guys because I could afford it. Ah, uh, I'm gonna put six. You need your own loyalty increase, mate. Your wife can secure loyalties. He's up to five. He's up to five. He's up to seven. You're on seven. 
I'll get Lothar up a little bit. He's on five, which is not ideal. Uh, let's see if my High King can help out. Actually, no, I won't do that um, because then this guy will have more than him. More influence. Um, let's try and boost. Let's get Lothar up. He's lose. Oh, he must be on a negative now. Damn, he's got too many. He's losing influence all the time. Damn it, Lothar. We just wanted you to do good. Stop having bastard children. Oh, we've just hit gone positive with these guys here because um, we put so pushed so many men in here, but it's still unfortunately not enough for me to go and raid here and then come back. But I have a fear that these guys are going to go for it before I can. Um, which would be rather annoying. Um, we are actually, having said that, these guys are going to be available in two more turns to take it. So that's not going to... How many turns until it rebels? Three turns. Well, these guys are going to get there in two turns. So we can we can afford to do this, so I'm going to go for it. I guess guys didn't replenish. It's not in friendly waters. What? Over there. Oh, hey, hey, hey. oh, they have more forces than I thought. Let's blockade and we'll reevaluate that situation uh, in the next part. So I'm going to wrap this one up for now. Here, guys, we started our invasion of Britain. Uh, as always, really appreciate the War Council, so feel free to throw it down in the comments. If you just said something, I didn't understand. Shush, Google. Nobody cares. Oh, my God. My phone. Shush. <laughs> Cheers for that one, Google. Anyway, until next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride in joining the Legion. Ciao for now.